Hey, what's up you guys? Haven't been on YouTube for a while. I've been very busy with the new website I'm creating and some other template stuff that is in the works. Uh, so a few weeks ago I did a little poll on the Facebook page about what you guys would like to see the most and most people said they wanted a real demo of how to do a reskin, uh, kind of just me walking through them, through the tutorial, uh, showing what I would do to reskin an app. So the app I chose to reskin today is the new template I released a few weeks ago, the dating template. Uh, this is a really simple template. Um, not too much you need to change. Um, basically just some Firebase stuff and some UI stuff. So it's quite easy even for beginners. So I'm gonna show you guys what I would change in this app to reskin it. And uh, I've reskinned this template before. So this is stuff that I've done in the past, and these templates have sold for like $200, $300, $400. So if you guys can master this and really start releasing these, you can make quite a bit of money, especially since the template is only $47, and you can reuse it as many times as you want. So let's get to it. Uh, click on the dating template folder here. This is something a lot of people who have purchased this template have been asking about. Um, People have been clicking on this blue icon instead of the white one, but if there's two icons in the project, always use the white icon because that uses all the pods that have been imported. Um, clicking on the blue one won't use the pods, so you'll get quite a few errors. So let's open up Xcode. All right, so we're in the project now. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get into the project is click right here. Of course, if you first downloaded this project, I would quickly do product and then build to make sure everything compiles, uh, just to make sure everything's running right. And if it doesn't, you can contact me. Um, anyways, the next thing I would do is change the bundle identifier. This can be anything, but it needs to be unique. Usually people do com, their company or last name, and then whatever the name of the app is. Also change the display name because that is what gets displayed on the phone under the app. You can just reset the version to 1.0 and the build to 1. Um, change it to your team. Right now this is my team. Um, if you don't do that, you'll probably get an error too. And then the rest of this stuff you can keep how it is. So the next part that's kind of just um, none of its UI stuff, it's just stuff you have to do. So go into the data manager file. It's kind of towards the bottom here. You are going to want to, before you do this, you got to go to firebase.com and create a new project. I'm not going to go through that right now because there's already a lot of Firebase tutorials. Basically just go to the Firebase website and they'll teach you how to create a new project. And once you create your new project, you're going to copy the storage URL from the page, paste it right here. And then after that, you're also going to download the plist that they give you. And you are going to put it right, just drag, delete this one and drag it into here. And that's all you have to do for um, Firebase. Uh, if you want AdMob ads, ads, you're also going to need to go to the AdMob website, uh, create an account, and copy your app ID here and your interstitial ID here. Uh, there's also a ton of tutorials on this. I've also done tutorials on this on my YouTube. Uh, also, in the guide that comes with the app template, I give you a lot more detail on that stuff too. So I won't go into that because it's kind of boring. Um, that's all you have to do for the data manager file. So at this point, all of like the logistics stuff has been finished. So now you get to go into the fun part, which is changing the UI, the icon, that type of stuff. So for this, you're going to go into main.storyboard. This one takes a little while to load up. All right. Still loading up. checking on that. Um, so at this point we're in the storyboard. This is where all of the UI is stored. So here you can basically change 
all the colors, all the layouts. If you're a beginner, I would stick to changing colors and fonts and uh, labels. That can be done just by clicking on stuff and it'll come up in this selector and you can change everything right here, which makes it really, really easy. Um, if you don't really know what you're doing, I would not try to change the layout too much because it's been created so it can adjust to all different screen sizes, like all the different iPhones there are, iPads. Um, if you don't know how to use the layout builder that's in um, Xcode, I would not really mess with it. Definitely do some tutorials on how to do that and you can totally change everything if you want. But of course that's not necessary for reskinning. All you really have to do is change colors, icons, fonts, that type of stuff. So what I would do is just go through here, change all the colors, change the name, maybe change some fonts and words around, and at that point you would be done. Then you have to go into launch screen.storyboard. This is what they see when they first launch the app. So I would just go into Photoshop before you do this, or any other photo editor, create yourself a little icon, um, and just drag it into here. It's very easy to do. You can select the image from right here. So it's very simple. Uh, after that, you want to go into the Assets folder. And this is where all the icons, all the images are stored. So like this is the splash screen I was talking about. So you just drop your new splash screen into here. If you want to change the icons, you can just drag new photos into here. And then finally, the app icon is right here. Just create your icon and throw the icons into here. It might look scary looking at all these different sizes. You might think you have to create all of these, but you don't. Just create one icon that's 1536 by 1536 pixels, and then go to the app, uh, makeappicon.com. I have a tutorial on how to do this, and it's a really nice website. So once you've changed all that, you are basically done with the reskin. Um, it's pretty simple, just changing icons, changing colors, fonts, words. Um, that's really all you have to do. And even the logistic stuff is quite easy, just like bundle identifier, name, Firebase IDs, AdMob IDs, and it's really quite simple to do. So at this point, you could just test your app, make sure it works, and then you're going to want to archive it and then submit it to the App Store. Um, and really at that point you are done. So that is about it for this quick tutorial. Um, I just wanted to do a quick overview for you guys because a lot of people are buying the dating and service marketplace templates uh, recently and some people have run into some errors and I just wanted to clear things up and kind of give everyone a little start on how to reskin apps. Um, besides that it's quite easy to do. Just use your creativity, uh, change some colors, create a cool icon, and really it can sell great on Flippa. Um, additionally, I do have some exciting news. In an upcoming video, I'm going to be telling you guys a new way of reskinning uh, apps. This is going to be reskinning web apps. I've actually found a really cool website that allows you to create templates and even sell them uh, for like for free and usually without code too. Um, you can code and everything in there too, but you can also download templates for free or buy ones and submit them. So it's a very cool application and I'm going to be demoing it for you guys soon, so stay tuned to that. Um, additionally, hopefully by sometime in June, I will have a prototype of my new marketplace website up uh, so look forward to that too thanks for watching this tutorial guys and i'll see you next time